today I want to talk about one of my favorite apps on the App Store, and um, it's called 3D Camera. And um, it's one of those apps that I don't think many people um, understand or know about, and I, which is actually quite a shame, but I think it's one of the coolest programs out there. And I, it's really well done, and it basically allows you to take 3D pictures with just um, the iPhone. And uh, let me go ahead and launch an application. It's called 3D Camera. It's by Juicy Bits, right? Let me check. And so um, before we go through how that app works, let's go ahead and uh, give a quick rundown about the history of 3D or what I know of it. Um, you know, we as human beings and a lot of animals, we have two eyes, right? We also have two ears, of course. But those two eyes allow us to see things, uh, not only, uh, you know, how big things are, but it also creates, uh, gives us the ability to perceive depth, how far something is in relationship to something in front of you, right? So in order to replicate uh, the 3D uh, via a photograph, we have to photograph th things as what, we have to photograph the separate image that each of our eyes would see. So we need to photograph the left image, then we need to uh, photograph what the right eye would see and then present those two images so that each eye only sees the images, image that was meant for each eye and our brain will magically fuse it together. Oh my God, I'm rambling here, but that's basically what, what it's all about. When you have the red and blue glasses, it forces your eyes to filter and only see the correct image for each of the eyes and then of course, your brain processes it, and you see depth. Voila. Once in a while, you may just happen to be somewhere and say, hey, wow, this is cool. I'll, why not take a 3D picture of it? Maybe it's at a car show, maybe at a museum, you know, uh, you know, flowers, you know, things that, you know, there's many things you encounter during, during your everyday life that you want, would like to take a photograph of. Um, Street scenes sometimes don't work as well, uh, especially with things that are moving. Uh, what makes this really work is for subjects that are still life that don't move between shots. And, uh, and this is what this camera excels at. You know, for things that are constantly moving, then you probably want to opt for a real 3D camera. So anyway, we launch the application here. And, and it, already, it goes step by step what you want to do. It tells you to go take a picture of the left image, all right? So here I got a little, just a, just a real simple setup of some of my camera gear, right? And this microphone and stuff. So this camera is probably closest to me. So, and this, this is a little bit further away and this is a little bit further away and I got some other junk there, right? I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and take one picture and then once I'm done, I'm gonna slide it over slightly to the right, right? Like this, like imagine there's a track right in front of you and I don't go closer to the camera like this or twist it or change the angle. I'm just gonna take one picture and then I'm gonna slide it over like a side step, like they say in the Marine Corps, a side step. And then you take the second photograph and that's all you need to do to create a 3D photograph, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna take one picture I'm going to take a side step over and take the second. Just like that. Okay, good. Now, at this point, uh, what's, uh, once you have the, the photos taken, what you now need to do is what they call aligning the stereo window, right? Um, what you can, and the program allows you to do that. So what you do is you click this plus plus. What you want to do, the general rule of thumb, is find the part of the picture that's closest to you. And that should be the part where there's the minimum of, se of um, separation. So let me just kind of show you. I'm just going to move one image over. And yes, good. Now you notice that the, the lens on this ca Canon camera, there's not much separation there, right? The, everything is not really blurred. But if you look further back, you see that there's more ghosting, right? That just shows there's more separation between what you see, right? All right, I don't know my 3D terms, but basically this is it. All right, so I'm done here. Now, uh, it gives you an option of displaying. Now, it will create 
a red and blue, uh, red and blue anaglyph, anaglyph that you can see with the, those are red and blue glasses. You can also create a black and white 3D photo, which you can also use those red and blue glasses. If you don't have uh, these red blue, blue glasses and you prefer to create something called parallel photo photos, like the ones you have those stereo cards where you have those viewers, which actually are superior because you don't have any color rivalry. You just print this with a printer, put it into those viewers, and you get just beautiful 3D photographs. Or you can do something called Wigglegram, which is just an optical illusion. I'm going to click on that. And it creates this crazy 3D jiggling effect. And um, that, it's kind of cool. You can send this as an animated GIF, and it's kind of 3D-ish. But I, I'm going to prefer to save it, at, go back to the, my red and blue anaglyph. Um, unfortunately, I don't think YouTube's going to really show this properly. You can try putting on your red and blue glasses to see how it looks like. But I'll provide a link to this actual program, and you can see what we're talking about. And you should see how easily it was done. I'm going to go ahead and click here. I'm going to save the picture uh, by share. I'm going to save it to my camera roll. Or you can email it to Flickr or whatever. And you're done, right? Good. Okay, good. And hit continue. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go back, hit the camera, but take some fresh pictures, right? Something else uh, that I can take a picture of, right? Um, how about my... Coffee cup, right? Coffee cup, right? Coffee cup, coffee cup, coffee cup, coffee cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and that's actually a tea cup. We're drinking tea from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one picture. Remember, so we're shooting the left image. I'm gonna move slightly to the right. Take a. I'm gonna now hit the align button. I'm gonna align this photo manually. I want the the part that's closest to me to be almost uh, with very little ghosting and that looks pretty good and I'm gonna go ahead and look at this that looks good I'm gonna go ahead and look this I'm gonna take my uh, red and blue glasses that I have and I'm gonna look at it on the iPhone and then see how this image looks if I don't like the alignment I can go back and realign it and align it some more if I wish right if I like it then I hit red and blue take on my glasses and I check my work when I'm done I click here and I share the pictures to my camera roll. Okay, continue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this app. I can go back to the Photos app, and I know, you notice that uh, what's cool about the app is that it gives you the separate photographs that you've taken, the two fo the, the photographs that you had taken separately, and you can actually bring these two separate uh, images, left and right, into another program on your Macintosh desktop and process uh, even higher quality 3D photos. So this is a really cool app. Now, if you don't have if you don't have this app, you can start taking 3D pictures right away. Just use your standard camera app on your iPhone. Take a left and then take a right image and save them for for the future when you want to process. And I'll talk to to you about a program called Stereo Photo Maker, and I'll show you how to make 3D photographs. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to end this program now, uh, this recording. Go ahead and I'll provide a link on where you can get some red and blue glasses. And uh, I'll, I'll put a link on these pictures that we've taken. Okay, cool. Enjoy your 3D. Talk to you later.